This is part two of lesson 1.14b for core chemistry second semester reviewing the properties of liquids and solids. Predict the property of a solid. Which solid probably has the higher melting point? Sucrose C12H22O11 or magnesium chloride MgCl2. Tip. Ionic compounds generally have much higher melting points than covalent compounds. Ionic compounds are also generally much harder than covalent compounds. So hit pause, get your answer. Recall relevant information. The strength of the forces between the particles in a solid affect its melting point. Sucrose is covalently bonded solid. The electrons are shared. Magnesium chloride is an ionic solid because it is a metal and a nonmetal, and they are giving and taking electrons. The ionic bonds between the magnesium ions, Mg2+, and the chlorine ions, Cl-1, and magnesium chloride are much stronger than the intermolecular forces between sucrose molecules in solid sucrose because they're all just kind of plain. Here, you have a positive and a negative end that lines up to the next positive, negative, positive, and negative, positive, and negative. You get the pattern, the crystal structure. Therefore, more energy is needed more energy is required to break the ionic bonds in magnesium chloride than to overcome the intermolecular forces in sucrose. Magnesium chloride probably has a higher melting point than sucrose. Now, if your first thought was, oh, the bigger one has a higher melting point, that's true if they're the same type. So if they're both covalent, the larger molecule would probably have a higher melting point because there was more to melt. But be careful if they're asking you if it's ionic versus covalent. All right. So we have the problem set, one, two, and three we need to do. Explain why a liquid can take the shape of its container, but a solid cannot. So go ahead and hit pause and get your answer. The answer is, the particles in a liquid have enough energy to overcome some of the forces between them. As a result, they can move past one another. In contrast, the particles in a solid do not have enough energy to overcome forces between them or intermolecular forces. These forces hold the particles in a rigid structure. That structure prevents the solid from changing shape easily, so it cannot take the shape of its container. And of course, the liquid particles have less intermolecular forces and they flow. Question two, the mineral fluorite CaF2 is an ionic compound. We know that because it's a metal and a nonmetal. The compound glucose C6H12O6 is a covalent compound, which substance probably has the higher melting point and why? So hit pause, get your answer. And again, we're comparing ionic versus covalent. Ionic compounds generally have a much higher boiling and melting point than covalent compounds because the ionic bonds are much stronger than the intermolecular forces between the covalently bonded molecules. Therefore, fluorite probably has a higher melting point than glucose. And question three. Which of the following statements about solids is true? A. Only ionic compounds can form crystals. B, the ions in an ionic crystalline solid are arranged randomly. C, the particles in an amorphous solid are not arranged in a specific pattern. D, covalently bonded solids tend to have higher melting points than ionically bonded solids. So hit pause, get your answer. And the answer is, Covalent compounds such as sugar can form crystals. So A is incorrect. A crystal is a solid consisting of particles arranged in a regular repeating pattern, so B is incorrect. Covalent compounds tend to have lower melting points than ionic compounds, so D is incorrect. The correct answer is C, which just to review, the particles in an amorphous solid are not arranged in a specific pattern. I like to think of amorphous solids like Laffy Taffy. All right, if you want to do questions four, five, and six, there they are. Hit the pause button, jot down your answers, and I will show the answer key. And here are the answers to, oops, to four, five, and six. All right, as always, if you have questions, let me know. Otherwise, good luck on the quiz.